Okay, so this is the last section in solids, liquids and gases, 5D. So we're looking at how an ideal gas behaves. So we need to think about gas molecules are very small compared to the volume of the gas and moving in a random motion. They will exert a force and hence a pressure on the walls of the container. So pressure is force over area. Same formula from before. The faster the molecules are, the higher the pressure of the gas and the more frequent the collisions become. Uh, gas molecules behave randomly in all directions and speed, and Brownian motion is evidence of it. And you can see a picture there of a molecule that's been moved about, buffeted, so it's smoke, buffeted by these um, invisible molecules of gas. And we, so we know some of this from, from the motion of these particles. You can look under a microscope and see smoke particles doing that. Also, the molecules will collide elastically. It's not quite perfect but we assume no energy loss and we assume that the intermolecular forces are pretty much zero with a very fast collision time. Okay, so there are kind of assumptions of how it happens. We've got to be able to convert between degrees C and Kelvin. So the Kelvin temperature takeaway 273 gives you degree C. You can see my little, little picture here to show you how to work it out. Um, we've got some of the key maths, so pressure, volume, temperature, um, situations one and two. So the idea is, that there's a relationship at the start of a situation. So it could be you're pumping up um, using some gas that's in a foot pump and you're pumping into a football. So pressure one, temperature one are at the start. Afterwards, you've got pressure two, temperature two. So as long as you know one of the, um, sorry, two, three of the variables, you can work out the other missing variable. It's a four-way formula that you've got to learn. Um, you've also got to know the relationship for a pressure and volume of a fixed mass of a gas at constant temperature. And that one would be the same start situation. So pressure one times volume one would equal my new pressure two times volume two. So there are two key scenarios to learn. Um, we can also think about that particles have a kinetic energy store. Um, so they will all have different speeds, but they will on average have an average speed and an average pressure. So EK is a half mv squared. And we can show that T would be proportional to V squared. So as V goes up, T goes up, but it's not a linear relationship. So the hotter the gas is, the faster the particles travel. We should also know that as, um, if we think about, so we've got number of molecules and the speed of the molecules. So as the temperature goes up, so it's weird this graph, isn't it? So this is a gas at 100 Kelvin, 200 Kelvin, 300 Kelvin. So when we've got a hot gas, there's a much bigger spread of different speeds for the particles or a lower spread or a lower spread. And so they're obviously more frequent at a lower temperature, but the actual speed is lower. So the mean temperature is lower. So it's a, it's a complex, tricky graph, that one, isn't it? We should know what Ball's law is, Charles law, pressure law. You get these crazy graphs that where PV is this funny curve. But if I plot P against one over V, I find that P is proportional to one over V. So we get a straight line graph. You should be able to do that. Um, Charles law, so another one, if we have volume and temperature, or we could also do pressure law, pressure and temperature, if we reduce the temperature for both these scenarios, our graph will extrapolate back to absolute zero, and it predicts our thermodynamic scale, which is this Kelvin scale. So they're two really important experiments. They generally don't talk about the Charles law as much, but you should have an idea of what it is. And it's, it's like I said, it's very similar. It's a concept of the pressure or the volume of the two of the gases drops. And as it drops, it's because the temperature drops and that tracks back to absolute zero. So there you go. That's 5D. That's it. Solid zippers and gases. Right, use the C done.